All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation x to the power of three minus eight is equal to zero. So how most people solve this equation is they add eight on both sides. So I get x to the power of three is equal to eight. And then they take the cube root on both sides. So the cube root of x to the power of three is x and the cube root of eight is two. So then they get x equals two, which is a solution to this equation but actually there are more than one solution to this equation. So I'm gonna rewrite my equation here, x to the power of three minus eight equals zero. And now I'm gonna rewrite eight as two to the power of three. So I get x to the power of three minus two to the power of three is equal to zero. And then now I'm gonna use the formula a to the power of three minus b to the power of three is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. So in this case, this turned into x minus two times x squared plus two x plus four is equal to zero. So now I get two equations. I get x minus two equals zero and x squared plus two x plus four equals zero. So for x minus two equals zero, I get x equals two, which was a solution that we already got. But now see on top of this, we have a whole nother equation with two more solutions because it's a quadratic equation. So to solve this, I'm gonna use the quadratic formula. So I get negative two plus or minus the square root of two squared, which is four minus four times a, which is one times c, which is four, or all over two a, so two times one. And this turns into negative two plus or minus the square root of four minus 16 over two, which is equal to negative two plus or minus negative 12 over two which is equal to negative two plus or minus 12 i over two, which is equal to negative one plus or minus six i. So these are the two more solutions to this equation. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation a squared minus b squared is equal to 49. So to solve this, I'm gonna use the property it states that if I have something in the form x squared minus y squared, this is equal to x plus y times x minus y. In this case, a squared minus b squared, a is x and b is y. So this turns into a plus b times a minus b is equal to 49. Now from here, I can rewrite 49 as seven times, or sorry, not seven, 49 times one. 49 is equal to 49 times one, so that's true. And this I can rewrite as seven times seven. Now we obviously know that a plus b is gonna be greater than a minus b. So keeping this in mind, This means that we can't, we can't rewrite a plus b times a minus b as seven times seven, as seven and seven are equal. So this possibility is out of the way, and 49 times one is the only possibility here. Meaning we're going back to a, time, a plus b times a minus b is equal to 49 times one. So because a plus b is greater than a minus b, we can say that a plus b is equal to 49 and a minus b is equal to one because a minus b, one is less than 49 and a minus b is less than a plus b. And this is also in the form a number times a number. So, and notice how this is equal to a number times another number. So we can say that a plus b is equal to 49 and a minus b is equal to one. So what we have here is a system of equations and I'm gonna add these system equations. A plus A is 2A, B and negative B cancel out, and 49 plus one is 50. So I get that 2A is equal to 50, and if I divide both sides by two, these two cancel out, and I get A is equal to 25. Now that we know that A is equal to 25, remember how we said that a plus b is equal to 49. 
So this means that 25 plus B is equal to 49 and B is equal to 49 minus 25, which is 24. So A equals 25 and B equals 24.